Hello, my name is Miss Amber. I am a children's librarian at the Moore Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Hello Baby series. Today, we will be talking about DIY uh, developmentally appropriate toys that you guys can make for your own kiddos. So um, I have a whole bunch here. I'm gonna kind of go through them and tell you uh, what age group they're for. So to start off with, I have this wonderful hula hoop. As you can see, I've got all kinds of textures. I've got all kinds of colors. I've got all that fun. Even make some noise if they shake it. So the reason that you would want to create that hula hoop is to encourage your kiddos to crawl. So this is usually for children that are between um, two and six months. Um, you're going to be using this during tummy time. It's going to encourage them to explore their surroundings and they may find some new textures or some new colors that might excite them enough that they might start crawling. So that is a really good opportunity for them to be um, building up those developmental skills that they need. The next thing that I want to share with you is this wonderful sensory board. So all this is made out of is some cardboard, um, some baby wipe tops, and just any kind of weird texture that you think your kiddos might like. I picked all blue things. I don't know how that happened, but hey, it worked out. So in mine, you know, I've got this little terry cloth. I've got some of those ball, like those little pom-pom balls so that they can feel that. We got like a silicone cleaning brush. And then I've also got the scrubby part of a sponge. So these are something that those kiddos can explore. As they get older, they can start snapping the tops and opening themselves. And so I would recommend this toy for our four to nine months olds. So the next two items that I have to suggest are going to be for our six to 12 month olds. Um, so these two, you've got your ribbon pool. This one's really fun. It's just the gift box that I bought. I got some ribbons. As you can see, that's not so pretty on the inside, but I tied them. And then your kids can just pull them. And so it's really fun. They like to do it back and forth. Um, so this is a really fun toy for our kiddos. I also have, now I have used this by cutting the top out of a gift box similar to this one. Um, this is actually like a car Kleenex box. You could just use a regular Kleenex box. You stuff some scarves into there and now they have a fun toy that they can pull all of those colors out of. So this one's really fun. My kiddo actually played with this forever. Um, so I would recommend this one be for six to 18 months. I just noticed I forgot this little toy here. This one is just full of different ribbons so they can pull the ribbons out. It's just one of these little balls. These are really popular. You can get these pretty much at any um, baby section that you go to. Um, it's just a little ball. It's easier for them to grip um, but they can start pulling these out. So this is another six to 12 months um, that I think is really fun for those kiddos. This one, um, this used to be an old Lysol bottle, nothing big. I just pulled, cut that little top section out that usually holds the wipes in, and I filled it in holes. Now, this one I'm going to say is probably best for 9 to 18 months. Once they have the better grip, they'll want to automatically put those into there. It makes a really fun sound. They like to dump the balls all out. Um, and then kind of a little bit of a challenge for them to get those. So it brings that dexterity. You're getting some fine motor skills. You're getting some gross motor skills when they dump them all out and have to chase them. So this one is um, another one that's really great. And I would recommend this one for nine to 18 months. So this is another one that my daughter really loves. Um, we got this Easter basket. Uh, I want to say maybe when she was six months old. And um, we just kept our Easter eggs. It has a swivel top, so you don't need a basket to do this. You could get one of those trash cans that has a swivel top. She loves putting the eggs in here and taking them out again. Um, you can do this with color recognition. You could talk about what eggs are in there. Um, but this is a really fun one. And usually whenever it's around Easter time, it's pretty easy to find the materials to put this together yourself. So my daughter is three years old and 
These two, um, I almost didn't get them back for the video. She's had way too much fun playing with them. I would recommend this one for probably one to two years, um, maybe even a little closer to three. This one I would recommend for one and a half to three years. So what these are, this is just some paper towel tubes I wrapped in construction paper, glued onto some cardboard and put some different colored pom-poms. Oops. All right, so take two. So these two, um, these are ones that my kiddo really likes. This one is just some cardboard tubes. It's got some construction paper wrapped around here. There's some cotton balls glued to this. The only thing that you might have to go out and purchase are these pom-pom balls. So the idea behind this is once again, some color recognition. You can either let them do this with their fingers or you can get those little tongs um, and they're going to just put them in the color where they belong. So my daughter did this for hours. She had a blast. This is the one I didn't think I was really gonna get back from her. So what I have done, as you can see, this is just washi tape. Um, I have cut it and I put the same color on the end of certain um, pegs. And so what it is, is it's a matching game. So you take them all off and then you have them try to figure out which one it belongs to. She had so much fun with this. Um, I actually put it away for the video and she kept asking me where it went. So I had to go and get it. Um, so I am borrowing this temporarily, but this is my daughter's new toy. So that just goes to show you, these are all things that kids love and they will really play with them. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found something that maybe you could make for your own kiddos. Um, next time we will be discussing the importance of play. I can't wait to talk to you. Hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you then.